everyone. My name is Tanya and I'm from Grazia. And today you're watching us on the Femina Grazia Virtual Beauty Carnival with content creator and actor Prajakta Kul. Hi, Prajakta. How's it Hi, going? Uh, good, good. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you. So we're here today to talk about fitness. Uh, I think a topic a lot of people are interested in right now. Uh, and it's something you're clearly passionate about. So to begin with, can you tell us about your fitness journey? Were you athletic in school? Are you a gym rat? Uh, not a gym rat at all. I tried that, couldn't do it, could not keep up. I was just like, I was like, I can't do it at all. Um, not very athletic. Honestly, I used to run uh, and I used to uh, be a part of the school hurdles team. I think till about third or fourth grade and then post that I used to just play volleyball I used to play bass to love playing basketball um but not I wouldn't call myself athletic like I was never I was I was in the aerobics team <laughs> I used to, it was just I wouldn't call that very athletic um and honestly for me my fitness my like actually consciously look taking care of my 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 fitness I think started happening in the Jan of last year. I remember uh, forever my resolution every year was that I'm going to start working out and you know, but I think last year, uh, right before lockdown hit, I was going through a phase in life, which was the most hectic. I think it was the, it was the, I, I was in the worst shape physically and mentally both because I had a lot going on. I was hardly sleeping. I think for a month, I think for a uh, for a good period of like four months, my sleep cycle was just like three hours every night. Um, I wasn't eating right. I was not drinking water. There was no form of physical exercise in my life. My mental health was all over the place. I was so overwhelmed always. Um, so I remember in the in Jan last year, I think I was climbing one flight of stairs. Right. And I remember going out of breath and it wasn't even like a complete flight, you know, it was just one way up. And I remember just looking at myself and I used to be a dancer when I was younger mm -hmm. um, and I used to dance for hours and I used to love dancing. So I think that was uh, the first time I realized that, wow, I'm in horrible shape. Also, I realized that I'm, I am turning older. You know, I was 26 last year uh, in January, but I was like, okay, now I'm turning older slowly and my body is not the same as I thought it was seven, eight, ten 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, so that is why I started uh, working on, I started with yoga and I fell in love with it and haven't gone back since. That's awesome. I think we've all been through, you know, these weird phases in our life. And I think it's like an ongoing journey. Yeah. But I think what I love the most is when I came across your content is how fun it is and how fun you make working out look and also like how you mix it up, whether you're doing like dancing to Kohli music or you're doing like a go in the hook step routine. I think it's, it's just yeah. been really different from everything else that's out there. Um, and you did mention that, you know, you danced a lot when you were younger. So I just wanted to know what is the story behind all these fun routines? You know, I, um, I tend to get bored very easily, very quickly, you know, with uh, uh, my workout routines, with everything actually. So I think that just goes with my workout routines also. When I started doing yoga, I did it for a few weeks and then I was like, this is fun, but I can't do the same thing every day. Um, then I started doing a high intensity, intensity cardio um, uh, routine, which I loved. Um, I did that for a few weeks and then I was like, I can't. Then I started, so I started looking for new ways to warm up basically uh, okay. because I was sick of the same warm up routines that I was doing every day. So that's when I, and I, I enjoy dancing. So that's when I started playing songs I love. And um, I realized that that's a great warm up for me, you know? So I just yeah. dance to music and it puts me in a good mood. Uh, it's a great start to the day. I try to work out in the mornings. So it's a great uh, mood setter for the day. So I think that is why also to mix and match so that it does not get monotonous, I, I think has helped me stay on track also. I mean, I don't believe I'm saying this, but I've been working out ever since I started in Jan last year and I've hardly missed. I mean, the only time I stopped working out was when I had COVID. 
mm-hmm. and uh, i was working out till before that um a few weeks after that i've come back and i feel very proud that i've, I've actually done it because i always wanted to do it and i think one of the reasons has been because i like um, dancing and i've made that a part of the workout that's awesome and how do you measure success, like progress because i feel like that's something that's you know so subjective and also what's been like an inspiration to you are there certain people you follow who are inspiring or how does it work i think um ev- after every workout i i like to like after i'm done with my workout i do like a stretch and a cool down session and then i like to sit down and meditate if i have time i'll meditate for 20 minutes otherwise i'll do it for 3 minutes or 4 minutes or how much ever time i have and i think those 3 minutes are extremely important for me because at that time i i i i realize how my body is feeling um 9 out of 10 times i'm feeling good uh nine out of ten times i'm feeling positive and that's when i feel like you know this was a good workout but then there are days when you know you don't have your heart in the workout you just do it because you want to do it and your body tells you that most times yeah. where yeah. during those minutes then i'm i'm just exhausted or i'm not feeling myself or my i can't concentrate so i think i keep an eye out for how i'm really feeling right post my workout and that helps me understand uh how, how i'm doing also um very slowly pushing my limits um mm-hmm. uh, i i tried doing the whole oh i'm going to do 100 today and then 150 tomorrow <laughs> and that messed me up so bad so i think just being okay with doing 100 today and 105 tomorrow yeah slowly pushing my limits i think that has helped me sort of measure how good i'm getting like for example I remember uh, a few months ago for me doing 40 surya namaskars was crazy you know yeah. and then after that I did a few surya namaskars I fell out of the whole yoga routine I got into high intensity cardio for the past few months today after so many months I did 40 and I was like I, was like, I didn't know that could happen but like basically just slowly taking it forward has really helped me so that helps me keep in uh, keep a track of how well it's going that's awesome and you know you did mention that you fell sick and you got covid so i mean keeping that in mind and just overall how do you feel like the pandemic pers- has personally affected and altered your fitness routine and i just feel like this is a conversation most people are struggling with because while it's convenient you know to work out at home it's in the privacy of your room a lot of people are used to group activities and you want that kind of adrenaline fueled you know environment of the gym so how did that work out for you uh for me honestly the lockdown basically gave me time to actually have a fitness routine if life would have continued the way it was before lockdown last year i honestly would not i mean i'm just looking at the silver lining here you know mm-hmm. i would not have gotten the chance to breathe and reflect and understand that i need to work on a few things um so definitely a win i mean it's 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 i feel very grateful that i got this time to actually work on my body and um unpopular opinion but i'm one of those who actually like working out by myself <laughs> um i i mean like i told you i tried going to the gym and it was just the most it was it was a horrible experience for me I like i never want to go to the gym again um i i like being inside my room me and my yoga mat are in a very happy relationship is why even when i'm off shooting if, I, if i'm on skeds i am very chilled because i just have to carry my yoga mat and i'm very happy being inside my house working out um so i i don't know if i'm the right person to tell you how it was uh, for people who like group act- activity i mean there's no right or wrong answer i guess it's, yeah. it's personal preference and i mean as long as it, it works for you and i guess we just have to keep kind of uh, yeah. adjusting to this new reality for however long you know it goes on so i'm i'm glad it worked out for you yeah. so that's, that's good um and i feel like while we're on the subject i feel like we should talk about body acceptance because you know in the pandemic i think there's i don't know about you but for me i feel like i've seen so much on social media you know where there's this added kind of pressure to work out because you have all of you know this time on your hands you don't have to physically travel to a gym um, but i feel like it's also great time to talk about guilt free exercising and i feel like that is something that you've been doing because you've been enjoying your workout so what's your perspective on this 
you know honestly for me working out has never been about looking a certain way or achieving a body weight or right. having certain uh, measurement goals met mm-hmm. i don't think you know it, it's so weird now that i think about it. i don't even i don't even measure my weight at all <laughs> in life generally i mean i i a few you know it's one of those things ki kisi friend ke ghar chale gaye ki oh weighing scale us par khade ho gaye that's it like i yeah. never even consciously keep a track of how my body is changing or whatever i think for me working out has only been about getting that discipline in getting my body to synchronize and work together getting my mind and body to sort of have a good relationship because when i started doing yoga last year i realized that my productivity increases manifold yeah on days that i work out my mood is better i end up um uh overall just achieving more on a day that i worked out than on yeah. days when i i don't work out and i think that is all that it has been for me i mean i know what you're saying about social media um but then again that has always been there like those yeah. uh, there's always been that little uh, sheet of lustre yeah uh, across yeah. Uh, fitness it's always been there and it's fine i mean each person to their own uh, every yeah. person has different reasons to work out every person has different things that motivate them to work out for me honestly the motivation is always that i know that i could be having a bad day but i could do tense like i it's very empowering to know how to fix my bad day you know to have that control over myself and my day to tell me that i could be having a horrible day but i'll do 10 surya namaskars and i'll stretch and i'll meditate and i'll be fine i yeah. think that is a bigger win for me than anything physic any physical changes so every time there is a f- change uh, physically which i see in my skin i see my skin starts looking better um i i have a I sleep on my face, so I always woke, wake up super happy. <laughs> uh, but on day, as soon as I work out, I know that the bloating goes away. I know yeah. that I feel, in, you know, uh, so I'm more jumpy uh, after a workout. And I think, other than that, everything else is just a happy, happy bonus. But for me, it has always been about, you know, having a good relationship between my mind and body. right and speaking about that connection i feel like you know physical health and mental health are so you know intertwined and you did speak about how you were feeling overwhelmed like right before you started working out so how do you like what was your state of mind back then and how do you feel you know that this routine has changed and made your mental health good um i remember this right before i uh started working out i remember there was this one day when there was literally nothing wrong in my life you know i mean there still isn't but i'm saying on that particular day there was yeah. nothing wrong i had amazing projects lined up for me i had just finished beautiful uh projects i was working on great content i uh, i am in a great relationship with my family i have amazing friends i have an amazing team my life was perfect is perfect that's what um that particular day i remember lying in bed and crying for no reason i could not come up with a reason yeah. you know i i also journal a lot so i remember journaling about it where i was like i'm upset but i do not know what i'm up- why why i'm upset now that i think about it i was just so exhausted <laughs> you know now yeah. the thing i feel like that's the that was the reason uh my mind and my body were not synchronized my body could not take how much uh i loved working and how much i loved doing things that i was doing at that time and that's when i realized that you know it's sort of there's an imbalance in this relationship yeah. and i need to bring that back um so that is what that is that is uh Uh, how i was feeling then and that's when i realized this whole connection as to how how deeply my mental health is connected with physical activity um i never thought i would be you know someone who likes cycling i mean i used to cycle when i was super super young but after that never but now that brings me so much joy if i have had a long day at work i'll just i'll go for a, even if it's just like one ride one round and i just come back feel so like i said it's just it's amazing to have these like tools uh, yeah. at your disposal 
uh, which are tried and tested and personalized and work beautifully for you when you're having a tough mental or physical day. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like it's it's the need of the hour, especially in, in times like this. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to ask you as a content creator, you know, there is this ongoing subliminal sense of responsibility towards your audience because a lot of them you know look up to you and uh, you know in, in various in various ways um, so what and I think there also needs to be a responsibility in the messaging that you're putting forward uh, with regard to all of these cool videos that you put what has the response been like from your audience it's been so good I mean uh... So I, I do this thing where after I finish a workout, I put a story saying, good job, B. And I didn't think that would catch on. It was just something I did when I used to finish my workout. And now every day there are so many stories on my Instagram with people tagging uh, me with their post-workout selfies. And I think it's just yeah. nice, you know, it's nice. Like you said, this whole guilt-free and no, nobody's talking about, oh, look, I've lost so much weight or look, oh, I have... Uh, you know, I achieved this waist size that I wanted. Everyone yeah. is just talking about how good they feel because they worked out. And I feel like that, um, that is very, very empowering. In fact, we have some wonderful creators doing work like that. Like recently I've been following Larissa, um, mm -hmm. uh, who has the 4 a.m. club where she's basically spoken about how she starts her day at four in the morning and ends it at 10 p.m. And she has a bunch of people now who wake up at 4 a.m. with her. <laughs> And she inspired me. I mean, I had reached, I started binge watching a show and I had messed up my sleep cycle completely. And I would wake up at 11. I would wake up at 11.30 because I had nowhere to go. Yeah. Uh, but she inspired me. And now I wake up at 7.30 or I wake up at 8. And it's just, I, I think that's the beauty of the internet where uh, you can, there's the sense of community. There's someone, there's always someone who you can relate to. Uh, there's always someone who can inspire you. There's always someone that you can do things with. Uh, and I think that is beautiful. So I, I, so yeah, I understand the, the, the responsibility. Yes. But more than that, I think the overall conversations become so easy that True. it's sort of fun to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And my last question to you, what are your tips and tricks for our viewers today to truly have a great time um, while working out from home in the age of social distancing? I think just one of the things that has really helped me is listening to your body. I mean, your body is constantly telling you things yeah. that your body likes doing, things your body does not like doing, timings yeah. when your body is most active. Uh, I think uh, when you start working out, just keep an eye out for those things. I mean, there's no way of telling you as to this is what is happening when your body's yeah. talking to you, but you'll know, you know. So always, always be very aware of how you're feeling when you're working out. Um, and I think, I, I really think that there should be no rules to working out, you know. Ki weight training, uh, agar weight loss karna hai, to weight training karna yeah. you want to increase your stamina, you have to do high intensity cardio. If you want flexibility, chahiye, to yoga. I don't think that, I mean, I'm not a fitness expert. I'm not trained in it. I'm not a trainer. But I'm just saying that just flow with whatever your body wants to flow with. Like for, for yeah. me, everyone told me that, you know, you really, you, if you want to tone your body, you should really do weight training. I started weight training and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> and I know that my body is not going to respond positively to a, to a routine that I don't enjoy. Absolutely. My, yeah, might as well sort of not always follow the rules and do what your yeah. body tells you to do and sort of let it flow the way it wants to flow. And um, you, so a lot of people ask me, what made it motivates you to work out when you see a difference uh, in your mind and your body? I think that is such a motivating thing to sure. when you see a difference and you don't stop doing it once you see once you see how much it helps you. So I think yeah, just these things. Awesome! Thank you so much, Prajakta. <laughs> that that was yeah. such a fun chat. Thank you thank for you. taking out the time to do this. It no, was no, lovely. thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.